Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to keep it a little chill and just kind of sit here and kind of talk with you guys to kind of give you an idea of who I am and a little insight to my life. Um, I don't know the people who follow me and except a few co-workers who um, actually made a spin-off of the what's in my backpack video so if you're watching guys thanks for that um if i am ever ever able to get my paws on that video you best believe i will be uploading that just so you guys know so today i wanted to do a little get to know me um i wanted to post 10 facts that a lot of people don't really know about me um or if they they kind of pick it up but a lot of people really don't know like the deeper inner thoughts of nadina <laughs> so fact number one is i'm cuban I was born in Cuba. I came to Cuba. I came from Cuba when I was eight years old. My mom won the lottery over there, and it's it's called El Bombo. And pretty much what it is is, you if you win, you get to come to the United States. Um, you get to you you pretty much come in as a resident, and you have everything. Like, obviously, we have family here. Um, my dad was here. He came. I want to say in 94 so he left my mom and myself behind and he came he came on a raft like most Cubans do um so he was here in 94 and then I came in 98 after my mom she kind of just wrote a letter that's how you that's how you would like it's here you like buy a lottery ticket or there you write a letter and if they happen to choose a letter from the hundreds and thousands of letters that they get then congratulations you're going to the United States um fact number two is I am married. Um, I've been with my husband going on 11 years and we've been married for five. Um, he's my rock. He's, he's genuinely, I don't know if you can hear him in the background. He's probably yelling at my two-year-olds saying not to throw things. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, he's the absolute best thing that ever happened to me. And I was very, very, very lucky to find him. Um, fact number three is I met my husband at work. Um, we used to work together at a store called Floor and Decor. I'm pretty sure it's still around. It's pretty big. Um, I used to sell tile and he started working there and we hung out one day. He blames it on me. I blame it on him. I say he kissed me. He says I kissed him. It's he kissed me. I win. So that's pretty much how it goes. And we've been together ever since. Fact number four is I do have a kid. I have a two-year-old. He just turned two on March. So he's my little youngness. Um, I have palpitations posting about him. I feel like you have the rest of your life to be influenced by media and like this big, huge Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and, and, and YouTube. And you have the rest of your life to be out there and to see what the world truly is like. So I'm trying to like, I want to shelter him from the world as much as I can. And obviously I know that that's impossible. Like by the time they're like four, <laughs> most of them have like an Instagram account. But I'm trying to, as a mom, I want to do my best to keep my child away from all of that for as long as possible. You know, when one day he comes in and he goes, hey mom, I have a YouTube account. I was like, all right, cool, funny. So I know I can't shelter him too much from it because it is out there it is the world that we live in nowadays but i want to do my best to try to keep him away from that as much as possible fact number five um so my husband is a cop he's been a cop for five years i want to say that's a topic on its own and that's it's a video all on its own. It's not easy being a cop's wife. I know that there's a lot of hate towards police officers and and a lot of, oh, they did this, oh, they did that. And don't get me wrong, there's there's bad people in every, you know, field. And the, there's bad people that are doctors. There's bad people that are nurses. There's bad people that are firefighters, cops. There's bad people all over the world. Um, so I'm not justifying them. I just feel like everybody piles cops in this one criteria and they're not all bad and they're, they're not all that. 
horrible individuals some of them are genuinely good and some of them actually want to be helps to help people but like i said that's a video for another day that's <laughs> obviously being a cop's wife on its own is it's hard because you never know if your husband's gonna make it back you never know if your husband's gonna make it back home all these shootings and all these things that are going on they're 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 rough and they 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 hit close to home so it's it's hard um fact number six um i have three dogs two of them in here currently with me kind of down there staring at me like mommy what are you doing um i have two yorkies um and one mutt that my husband actually found one night patrolling and he was a little puppy and his tail had been broken and it was the saddest thing ever so my husband picked him up, brought him home, and like that night I, I sheltered him and I gave him a bath and I cleaned him up. He was full of ticks and, and bugs and grass and well, he kind of stuck with us ever since. <laughs> uh, my dogs are, mind you, I don't drink, I don't like the flavor of alcohol. Don't get me wrong, I'll have a drink, but it has to be a very, very fruity drink. Like on fact number 10, I'll let you know what my favorite drink is if I ever drink. Um, so my dogs, in order of how I got them, it's Martini, Daiquiri, and Cosmopolitan. <laughs> um, number seven, I was born in August, right smack in the middle of Leo season. I am a full-blown Leo. I am stubborn. I am needy. I'm very confident, but I'm very loyal. Um, I'm very my friends are my friends and i take care of my friends no matter what my husband is obviously the love of my life and i will stick with him till the day i die like i tell him like i mean it's funny like i even tell him sometimes i'm like honey this isn't a life sentence no 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 this is like a forever sentence death will not stop me from chasing you and he just kind of looks at me like oh god <laughs> but yes i am a leo and I love everything about a Leo because I am a Leo to the full definition. <laughs> Number eight is coming from that Leo perspective is I am a planner and I love to plan parties. I have a very active imagination. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to start a YouTube channel. And I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for years and I was so terrified because as a girl as a, as a woman you know you have your own insecurities and obviously going out there and going into such a big white platform where everybody's looking at you you kind of sit back and you're like <sighs> so it took me a very long time to actually decide to start this youtube channel i have been planning this for years and you need to be perfect perfect and obviously this isn't perfect but for me i was like you know what i either started or i'm never gonna start i was like all right let's do it <laughs> So I do plan parties on the side. Um, I do things for friends, things for customers. It's I love it. It's what I do. Party planning is it's what makes me happy. Like everybody's like, oh my god! But on the weekends you're at home working, and I'm like, yeah, but I'm working on things I love. <laughs> All right, number nine. We're almost done. My current job is I am a claims adjuster. So I deal with car accidents, I investigate them, I talk to people, I help people set up for repairs. It's not as fun as it might sound, even though I don't think it sounds very fun, but it is, it, you, you get to talk to a lot of people and obviously everything's over the phone. So it's not like I get to meet a lot of people like face to face, but so I always say this, there's usually, there's five types of accidents, give or take. You know, there's your rear ends, there's your left turns, there's there's all that fun stuff. But what changes it and makes it interesting is what people tell you. Like if people would be honest and just open up and be like, hey, this is what happened. I made a left. I didn't see them. I hit them. Done. Claim would be done. My job would be so much easier. But the things people say, ooh, ooh, you'd be surprised at the things people say. <laughs> Alrighty, now we have arrived at our final one. And my final one is, a lot of you know, but you guys don't. I have an addiction. It's a vicious addiction, but it makes me happy. 
Mm. I am Red Bull's biggest fan. I have applied to be a Red Bull girl like three times and every time I get shut down, I'm like, what the hell? Why? Why not? I was like, mm. but I love Red Bull. And then going back to my alcoholic dogs, um, my favorite drink ever. And if you're ever, 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 I have a 1957, get yourself a Red Bull Mojito. I said it, Red Bull Mojito. And tell them to add a little extra Red Bull. Unless you want a little extra alcohol, then you do you. But <laughs> this is where it's at. This helped me through my bachelor's. This helped me through my master's. This helped me through my child. This has helped me through getting through my work day. This is absolutely the best thing that has ever been invented. To the people who made Red Bull, this is to you, baby. Cheers. I love you. Thank you so much. Mm. Everybody always tells me, oh, how did you lose the weight so fast for like, the baby? And I was like, Red Bull diet. Call me crazy. I gained 32 pounds when I was pregnant. And I lost it all. The moment I started, um, the moment I stopped breastfeeding and I started drinking these. It's, like, it's, not, it's not a dietary supplement and I'm not a dietitian. But you know, you know, because if you're watching and you drink this, you know how good it is. <laughs> Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Um, if you by any chance like the makeup look that I'm wearing right now, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will try to recreate it. It might take me like forever to do it. But this is, I simplified this because I'm lazy. So I literally simplified smoky brown look for the eyes so if you like it and if you like me please subscribe leave me a comment down below give this video a thumbs up and turn on and turn on that notification bell so that you can be alarmed to every time i post which i do every two days so every or every other day every other day roughly around three o'clock i was one sometimes it gets a little later but roughly around three o'clock <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. -bye.